This has to be it. I knew she was deep in the necrons. I mean, she taught me everything I know. But I had no idea she had a setup like this. Look at all this. She must have spent years collecting these components. And what's this thing? I'm not sure about this circle, but it's obviously... something. Let's take a look around. There has to be something here that tells us where she's gone. My mother was meticulous about her research. If we can find her notes, there might be some hints in there. Not that I ever saw. My mother had a bit of a thing for magical constructs. Not... not what you're thinking. She just found them fascinating. That's... a long story. I guess... we kind of have to go way back. To the very beginning. Do you know where vampirism came from? Exactly. The first vampire came from Molag Ball. She... was not a willing subject. But she was still the first. Molag Ball is a powerful Daedric Lord, and his will is made reality. For those willing to subjugate themselves, he will still bestow the gift, but they must be powerful in their own right before earning his trust. The ceremony was... degrading. Let's not revisit that. But we all took part in it. Not really wholesome family activity, but... I guess it's something you do when you give yourselves to a Daedric Lord. Well, you've met most of us. My father's not exactly the most stable, and eventually he drove my mother crazy with him. And it all ended with me being locked underground for who knows how long. It's definitely been a bad thing, on the whole. I will be. Just give me a little time. Mm, Alright. See here, notes. Notes, notes, notes. Oh, paper. Quills. Oh, lockpicks. Mm, Alright. Not sure why I bumped some of that up to third person, but. Alright. But this is definitely something an alchemist would ever dream of. I mean, just look at all this stuff. It's insane. Insane kind of smell stuff she has here. Her mother. Check up here. Balcony. See if there is anything in there. So, balcony. Alright. Guess this must be some sort of like a Checkpoints or something. In case you want to talk to her mother again. In the near future. That's what I'm guessing. Keep searching for her notes. She probably had a journal or something. Journal, 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 journal. Danger heart right there. De Rerum Durenus. Keep 
searching for her notes. She probably had a journal or something. Journal, journal, journal. Where art thou? This, this journal. It's probably right over here. There we go. All right. Let's see. Any luck yet? You did? Let me see. Them. I only know what she told me. She had a theory about soul gems that the souls inside of them don't just vanish when they're used. They end up in the soul cave. The soul cairn is home to very powerful beings. Necromancers send them souls and receive powers of their own in return. My mother spent a lot of time trying to contact them directly, to travel to the soul cairn itself. That circle in the center of the room is definitely some type of portal. If I'm reading this right, there's a formula here that should give us safe passage into the soul care. A handful of soul gem shards, some finely ground bone meal, a good bit of purified void salts. Oh, damn it. We're also going to need a sample of her blood, which, if we could get that, we wouldn't even be trying to do this in the first place. Hmm, not bad. We better hope that's good enough. Mistakes with these kind of portals can be... gruesome. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get started. Oh, definitely. Mother would have plenty of those materials in her laboratory. We just need to find them. Alright. Let's see here. Shard. I think there was like a void, some void salts over here, maybe. There is void. There is the void salts there. What else did we need? Finely ground bone meal, soul gem shards. Gem shard. There we go. There's that. And some kind of froze there just a moment. Finally, and then some finally ground bone meal. Or is that not it? There we go. Let's see there. And just her blood. Then the rest is up to me. Are you ready to go? I'm not entirely sure what this thing is going to do when I add my blood. Okay, 
Here goes. Now that I think about it, I should have expected that. Sorry. It's hard to describe. The Soul Cairn is... Well, hungry, for lack of a better word. It's trying to take your life essence as payment. There might be, but I don't think you're going to like it. Vampires aren't counted among the living. I could probably go through there without a problem. Not your first choice, I guess? Maybe. We could just pay the toll another way. It wants a soul, so we give it a soul. Yours. My mother taught me a trick or two. I could partially soul trap you and offer that gem to the ideal masters. It might be enough to satisfy them. It would make you a bit weaker when you travel through the soul care, but we might be able to fix that once we're inside. Maybe. I'm sorry. I wish I knew a better way, something that would be easier for you. Just know that whatever path you choose, I won't think any less of you. Sometimes things just have to be done. I know that better than anybody. Yeah, I'm not going to be a vampire. Fuck that. Screw that, screw that, screw that. Are you sure? I'm willing to do it, but you need to think it through. You'll remain mortal, but you'll find yourself weakened within the soul care. Let's do it. I know this is difficult for you. I hope you trust me. I'd never do anything that could hurt you. Thank you. Let's not waste any more time then. I promise to make this as painless as possible. Hold still. Let's go. My mother must be waiting on the other side of us. Alright. But, as I said before, I definitely don't like being a vampire. And I'm not going to be a vampire in Oblivion either once I finish this game up. Mm, all right. Beyond death. So it looks like Valerica. It's pretty much probably going to be right over there, but I'm actually going to stop the recording session here. And when we get back into this game, we will venture into the Soul Cairn more and try to find out Valerica and see what's going on. But until then, I will see you guys next time.